Hi, my name is Ian Miller and I'm a graduate student at the University of Toronto. Uh, and I'm here talking about, uh, at APS, talking about Meme Lab. So Meme Lab is my research project for my master's thesis. Uh, we created a website that students could uh, use to create content that they could share with their friends. So we were uh, allowing them to make pictures. And uh, so if you've seen these, it's a picture and it has some words on it. Um, this is an image macro or a meme. And uh, so what is a meme anyway? Well, uh, Richard Dawkins coined the term back in the 1970s. Uh, and it essentially derives from the idea of imitating something else or replicating something. A meme could be a viral concept. Um, and we're actually digging into the essence of virality with our meme research. So we care about memes, but we also care about the people. So uh, participants came to our website, they made two uh, memes on their own, and then they shared them. And we watched the, our own website for two months, and we saw how many times each of those pictures was viewed. And we counted it up, and we plotted it here, and uh, I don't know if this is going to be visible, but what it means is most of the memes were viewed zero or one times, and a few were viewed a lot, uh, 50, 80, 100 times, relative to the rest. These are the ones that we say went viral, and uh, a time series, uh, anyway, uh, we were looking at features of the meme, and we were also looking at features of the individual. So was the meme funny? That definitely mattered. Was the meme relevant to the person, to the people they were sharing with? That also mattered. Um, and the idea of a viral video is that maybe some videos are more viral than other videos. Uh, well, uh, what this is suggesting is that, yeah, the content matters, but we found that it was actually more important uh, who the creator of the, the content was. Uh, so in terms of driving the viral effect, um, it was the person introspective? Was the person uh, willing to disclose? Uh, did they have something that, they, that was worth disclosing, essentially? So the, the picture mattered, but it really mattered more who created the picture. And uh, we found that that was more of a, a predictor of, of viral success of the thing that they had created. And uh, we wanted to take it a step farther because we had done a, sm a small sample with, uh, with real people, but we wanted to run it in a computer with 15,000 agents, um, 15,000 simulated agents. And, and we did this, and it uh, actually ended up looking an awful lot like the, the participant data that we had collected from real people. So we were pretty encouraged by that. Uh, nothing conclusive about that, but it is definitely future direction to see where um, social simulations can take us. So thank you.